Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. US equities were mixed in Friday trading, though finished well off morning lows. Stocks wavered Friday in a volatile trading session after the July's jobs report was much better than expected, as investors assess what a strong labour market would mean for the Fed Reserve's rate tightening campaign. The labour market added 528,000 jobs in July, easily beating a Dow Jones estimate of a 258,000 increase. The unemployment rate ticked down to 3.5%, below the 3.6% estimate. Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, has described the labour market as unsustainably hot. Economists and politicians have spent weeks now arguing about whether the United States is in a recession. If it is, the recession is unlike any previous one, given the extraordinary growth in jobs in July. For US consumers, of course, the argument is that the economy doesn't feel like a boom. Measures of consumer confidence are at record lows, and Americans are overwhelmingly saying they are dissatisfied with the economy. That perception is grounded in reality. High inflation is eroding and in some cases erasing the benefits of a strong growth, uh, job market for many workers. This week, markets will also be eagerly awaiting the US July consumer price inflation data midweek for a further read on US inflation. On the ASX this week, we kick off the earnings seasons, which sees 17 major ASX 200 companies reporting, including Suncorp today and more on its proposed bank sale to the ANZ, ComputerShare and CBA on Wednesday, Mervac, AMP, QBE and Telstra on Thursday, and IAG on Friday. On Friday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gains 0.23%, the S&P 500 shed 0.16%, and the Nasdaq lost half a percent. Losses were offset by bank stocks, which rose on hopes that interest rate hikes will continue at a solid clip. Energy stocks also gained, but technology companies slumped. U.S. corporate earnings have come out stronger than expected for the second quarter, with some 87% of the S&P 500 companies having reported, with 75% beating earnings estimates. Disney, Fox and News Corp are the media companies reporting this week. Outlook comments have been mixed, reflecting the uncertainty regarding the growth outlook, but not overwhelmingly negative. On Friday, the energy sector was the best performer of note. The utilities and energy sectors are the only S&P 500 sectors with stock price gains year to date. Earnings from Exxon, Chevron, Shell, BP and others have boosted US profit numbers. In fact, according to FactSet, earnings would be 3.7% lower year on year for the second quarter if the energy sector was excluded from the calculation. Overnight, Senate Democrats narrowly passed a sweeping climate and economic package. The 755-page bill includes $430 billion to combat climate change and extend health care coverage. The bulk of the spending, more than $300 billion, are investments to tackle climate change and boost clean energy. In currency news, the US dollar rallied on the major crosses, with the best gains coming against the yen. One Australian dollar has weakened to the US dollar on Friday, buying 69.14 US cents. On the commodity front, iron ore futures are pointing to a 4.9% gain. Gold lost 0.9%, silver was down 1.4% and copper was up 2%. Oil prices rose slightly on Friday, bouncing off their lowest level since February as concern over supply shortages was countered by expected declines in fuel demand. Oil added 0.5% to 89 US dollars a barrel. In Australia today, the SPY futures are pointing to a flat start. This is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Have a great day.